everybody, this is Praxis, and we're back at this old shit again, putting wall boards up on the shed. Uh, so uh, it's an exciting day. This has been sitting like half finished for like a year, pretty much. It was actually just about a year ago that I started building this structure. It was like first thing in the spring, I got all the boards off here and started building this. So it's kind of nice, like the beginning of every spring, we're working on the shed. Amber's helping me today. Uh, she is putting seal on the boards. I'm kind of prepping them to the right size and shape. She's putting seal on, and River's actually going to maybe come out later on and help as well. Uh, we're starting on this front wall here for a couple reasons. Uh, one, it's not, it's, I mean, it's a nice day today, but in the shadows, it's kind of windy and cold. Uh, so we're, we get to work in the sun. It's warmer here. The boards are shorter. Uh, it's you know easy ladder work, and, and most of it you don't even need a ladder. Uh, and also, uh, once I get this wall done, I have the option of taking these solar panels, which are running a dehumidifier down in the uh, basement of the shed, and getting them up on the wall so they're just not on the ground. So uh, for all those reasons, we're, we're starting up over here. I always start at the corners and then work my way across the structure. Uh, what you want to do, uh, and I realized before I recorded this video, I actually did it a little bit backwards. In fact, I did it completely backwards. When you're uh, designing these uh, uh, shiplap wall boards, they kind of lay over like that. And whatever was your primary wind direction, you want to have these uh, gaps be kind of opposite it. So if the wind is coming from this direction, you don't want to lay it out like this because then it's going to drive rain and stuff into your crack. Uh, if the wind's coming from here, you want it to be this way so the, the moisture is kind of getting shed across the crack. I accidentally did it the opposite way. Uh, I started at this corner and I'm going to be running them in that direction, uh, which is backwards. I shouldn't have done it that way, but I feel committed because we've already done like six boards and that's like, you know, in for a dime, in for a dollar. We're going to finish this way. Uh, but usually, I, saving grace, the wind usually comes from that direction, so this is actually usually the more protected side anyway. But generally speaking, I'm letting you know, if you ever do this and you're overlaying these guys, you want to make it so that the water is going to shed across that way instead of getting driven down into your seam. So that's what we're doing today. I don't know if we're gonna get the whole thing. It's pretty simple. We're just cutting them all to 92 inches, giving them two coats of seal and putting them up. We'll see how fa uh, far we get across uh, on the whole project. But uh, you know, I'm looking forward to doing this versus that because that was huge. It was a lot of really tall ladder work. This is really miniature and I find things of this scale to be really um, enjoyable, to be honest. Uh, you know, building a tiny house is a lot less onerous than building that. That's it. Thanks for watching.